Hello folks, Stan here, WB2LQF. Here's my little PFR3B, my newest acquisition. It's a very nice little radio. The PFR3B. A portable field radio somewhere someone either told me or I read that it actually predates the uh, Elecraft KX1 I don't know if that's true or not but I did own an Elecraft KX1 and a KX2 and a KX3 and an LNR precision uh, MTR 3B the mountain topper and when it comes to uh, comparing those rigs that I previously owned to this PFR3B, I think we'd have to rule out the KX2 and the KX3 because they uh, represent a higher level of technology and certainly cost. If we compare this to the MTR3B and the KX1, we're in a ballpark. KX1 is a beautiful radio, but it costs about twice as much as this one does. It's no longer available and when it was available if you wanted an internal antenna tuner you had to pay for that if you wanted more than 40 and 20 meters you had to pay for a 30 and an 80 meter module with the MTR 3B well the issue there is that it doesn't have an internal antenna tuner and it doesn't have an internal power supply and it costs about as much or maybe even a touch more than what I'm holding in my hand here. So let's uh, let's take a look at this in a bit more detail. This gives me an honest five watts imp uh, output, five watts output on a 12 volt battery. In fact, at about 9.6 volts, I can get about three watts. At around 10.6 volts, I can get five watts. And at 12, wa 12 volts, I actually get a bit more than five watts. And that's on all three bands that it covers, 40, 30, and 20 meters. Uh, this rig has an internal uh, balance line tuner in it, which will tune just about anything. And that includes the proverbial wet noodle. Now, the Elecraft KX1 had a pretty gosh darn nice tuner in it, too. Uh, I think maybe this one might even edge that out. I've tuned the window screen with this just to see if I could get the LED to go out, and I did. Uh, the key here is not part of the original uh, rig. However, it's built for this rig with this special bracket, and for about $25, you can have this dirt cheap key, DCP it's called, dirt cheap uh, key, dirt cheap paddle. And it's available from uh, QRP guys, or QRP kits, specific antenna on the, on the web. Uh, same place you can buy this kit. All right. Uh, when we look at it, we have a choice of three bands up here, 40, 30, and 20, which uh, I think most people will agree those are the bands that you're most interested in when you go out working portable. There is a pre-tuner here that you peak for uh, strongest signal or the loudest noise kind of reminds me of a pre-selector on an old drake 2b i used to have uh, you have a tune operate switch here okay in tune position uh you're also protected against high swr and the idea is to put it into tune position connect your antenna or your dummy load and then uh tune the uh tune and load controls to minimize the uh, br brightness of this SWR uh, LED right over here. If it goes out completely, you're at one to one. If it shows a little bit, you're somewhere uh, less than two to one. And if it's bright, you're over two to one. This is a switch for either the uh, balance line tuner or you can switch it over to coax and plug a resonant antenna right in here and then you bypass the internal tuner and off you go uh 
Down here is a low and high impedance uh, switch. Uh, depending on what kind of an antenna you're trying to tune, either the high Z or the low Z position is going to minimize the SWR. Down here we have a switch for uh, power on or off. And you can use either the internal uh, 8 AA cells that I have in here right now. That's on battery. Or if you switch to external, then we're talking about using either a 12 volt battery that's uh, hooked up here through this power jack. Or I can use a 13.8 uh, volt supply. Uh, however, I have to caution you that I did put uh, three diodes in series in a positive line and fuse it for one amp uh, because this rig is, doesn't like to run over about 12, 12 and a half volts max. Okay, you will damage it. So if you're going to use a 13.8 volt supply, uh, it's a real good idea to put a couple diodes in series and drop it down. With uh, in the internal battery position, the LED comes on. And I made a little addition here. I had this put in. Uh, it's a, uh, a, a battery status indicator. You look at that, I got a green light. That means I've got at least 10.6 volts or more. I'm, I'm sorry. It means I've got at least 11.5 volts or more. Okay. Uh, between around 10.6 and 11.5 volts, this is going to glow orange. And if it glows red... If it glows red, then I'm putting out about, or I have about 9.6 volts uh, going into the radio. Okay. At 9.6 volts, I get about 3 watts out. 10.6 volts, 5 watts. 12 volts, a little bit more than 5 watts. It's, uh, it's a nice radio. It's not the lightest radio, not the smallest one compared to the KX1 and to the uh, MTR3B. But uh, it certainly is... A nice radio if you just want to go out and uh, kick some cans down the road here uh, playing around you know on a nice summer day you throw a 35 foot wire and a 17 foot counterpoise out and uh, connect them up here and you're set to go you can even use a shorter wire if you want you can use just about anything uh, may not be as efficient as some other choices you'll make but it will work has an internal uh, uh, keyer uh, 5 to 40 words a minute range and uh, it's really miserly on power draw um, I can't remember exactly uh, what the power draw is but uh, on receive only it's uh, it's down there I think around 40 45 ma so it runs a long time on the uh, internal batteries if uh, if that's what you're using uh, other interesting thing here it's 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 a simple rig to use okay First time you press the menu button, there's your code speed. You want it slower? You want it higher? Anywhere you want. It defaults to 20 words a minute. All right. It shows you uh, basically the, uh, uh, the uh, part of your frequency. This is uh, set for 7,030 kilohertz right now, okay? So it shows you the, the 100 kilohertz portion. Yeah, press that more than once, and a T or what looks like a T shows up, and that means you're in tune mode. Now, when I press the, uh, the left paddle here, and I'm in tune mode, I'm going to get a steady carrier wave uh, so that I can, uh, you know, fiddle around with the, uh, the BLT tuning. Uh, has a direct frequency entry. Once I see these four dashes, I can use the key. Uh, if I wanted, uh, let's say, 7,035, I'd go... Uh, zero, 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 da 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 I'd hear an R after each one, a Roger, and uh, it would go right to that frequency. Okay, it also has uh, two memories. Okay, uh, I'm not one to use memories, but if you like that, you've got it. And uh, if you press the tune button down, Okay, it's got RIT also. There's, there's a, a receiver incremental tuning. And if I press the tune button down and I hold it, I'll hear a did it out it, which means I'm going to fast tuning, which is um, uh, a faster rate of tuning. If I press it down again, I'll hear did it it, which means slow. 
and uh, I'm down to uh, 50 hertz turning tuning. There's a volume control right there. Uh, this, by the way, is an encoder. I guess the earlier models, they used to have uh, uh, push buttons, up and down push buttons. Uh, this is a Steve Weber design, by the way. Steve Weber KD1 uh, Juliet Victor. And uh, it's called a Hendrix PFR 3B. Kind of a kind of a fun rig. On the back here, we've got you've got your uh, 12 volts input. Uh, that's a grounding lug. It can uh, BNC uh, connector or balance line, and then of course the antenna switch for choosing what you want. Made my first contact with this, and it happened to be uh, a guy down in Australia on 30 meters. Uh, long path, <laughs> long path, uh, VK3CWB, I believe his call was, oh, we even exchanged emails afterwards, he congratulated me on uh, working a long path, it was about 14,500 miles we figured out uh, on, a, on 5 watts, my antenna was the only antenna I have, a 63 foot long inverted L, it's actually an NFETI antenna, put out by my antennas, the EFHW4010, that I've got configured as an inverted L uh, with, with no grounds, the 25-foot uh, coax cable connecting it. Well, that acts like the counterpoise. But works for me. Let's go see how she sounds, okay? Okay, here we are at the operating position at home here. Uh, I got a sp an amplified speaker uh, connected up here instead of a headset or earbuds. And uh, I velcroed a uh, UTC clock to the upper left corner here and tilted it down so I can see what time it is. I uh, also decided I'd tape on the uh, initial BLT settings for 40, 30, and 20. We're on uh, 7030 and we're connected to external power and we've got plenty of power there we got a green light all right so band sounds dead but let's try cq anyway you can hear what it sounds like expected nobody there if I want to go to fast tuning I press and hold I hear fast and now we're we're chugging oh there's somebody <laughs> if I press again we slow down all right uh, if we press once on menu, we got the code speed. I'm at 20 words a minute. If I press twice, I go in tune mode. Now if I switch over to tune, hold the key down, you see the SWR is out. That means I got a one-to-one -one match. Go back to operate here. Well, at least you got to hear somebody else. <laughs> it's really a very nice receiver. Uh, the minimum discernible signal is uh, 0.2 microvolts. 
uh, 300 hertz selectivity and a 600 hertz uh, center frequency audio bandpass filter. On receive, it's drawing uh, 47 MA. On transmit at 12 volts, uh, it's between 650 and 740 uh, milliamps. Awful nice receiver. Very, very nice. It, uh, Wasn't, uh, I wasn't lying here. Uh, on 222, at 10, on uh, 10115, 5 watts, 2157. Here's VK3 CWB. Uh, gave me a 529. Uh, in Australia, long path, 14,400 miles. There's a few more QSOs. Uh, uh, France. Uh, Morocco, United States, United States, United States, wherever you see five is, uh, wherever you see five is the, uh, the little rig here. Uh, so it's doing okay considering I just got it. Having a lot of fun with it. Well, just an interview, uh, I'm sorry. Just a review of the uh, PFR-3B. It's uh, it's a very nice little radio, and uh, the price is extremely reasonable considering what you get in the package. You got an internal tuner. You can uh, stack uh, eight AA batteries inside. You can uh, get a key for twenty-five dollars, a DCP, the dirt cheap paddle, and add that to it, and uh, find yourself thirty-five feet of wire. Throw it into a tree outside, and uh, have a ball. Have a ball all together for. Well, well under $300, brand new. I've never seen them on eBay, not once, and I rarely see them anywhere else. So I guess whoever has them has uh, figured out that uh, they're not something you want to get rid of. Yeah, 73 from WB2LQF.